Hey guys, and welcome to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video, and today we have some more hidden details that you guys might not have noticed from the previous trailers. If you're excited to check this video out, be sure to leave a like, I would appreciate it, and let's get straight into it. First of all, we have a screenshot by Machu Chan on the Animal Crossing New Horizons subreddit. They noticed that the curtains in the houses, presumably your house and the animals' houses as well, this is the animals' house, the curtains can actually be open or closed. Now this is a feature that was in Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, and it's very exciting to see them port over some of these features from that game, as it really did have some amazing features that I'm happy to see them bring over, and this is just one of many I'm sure we will see. Clouded Dreams in my comment section noted this. Hey dude, I noticed that in the E3 trailer the mailbox is on the right of the house, whereas in the new trailer it's on the left. However, the mailbox for the tent has always been on the left. Just wondered if you'd noticed this before. It could be that they've decided to change the position of the mailbox for the new trailer, or perhaps you can choose where you place the mailbox once you've built your house. Thank you for leaving this comment, this is a really great observation. The mailbox has always been on the left, so it's actually really interesting to see them put it on the right. I'm not sure if it was just an accident or something they did temporarily. But all the same, I think it's very possible that we would be able to move our mailboxes in the games, and I certainly would hope this is a new feature that they introduce for us. Here's a really cool one by Sierra3141 on the Animal Crossing New Horizons subreddit, which I highly recommend by the way. Your player's skin gets wet when it rains. It certainly does look this way. Your character's skin looks a lot shinier, a lot damper, and I think this is such a fantastic little detail. I'm really excited for rainstorms and stormy nights in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I think that's going to be some of my absolute favourite weather. You can notice even their clothes have a bit of a sheen to them, so it's great to see the rain has more of an effect. It's not just something pouring down from the sky. It lands on your character and it soaks them, as it should. Here's a very small one, but still a cool one. If you notice, once you've gained enough materials to craft an item, the background of the little card will become all glowy, so you can easily tell that you've got enough materials. I'm sure some people know about this one already, but I just kind of learned about this myself, so I thought I would include it in here. If you do already know about it, that's great, but if you didn't, I hope you enjoyed this little one. Moving on. Our player has knees. <laughs> yes, they have proper kneecaps now. It's such a random little detail, and I can't believe I never noticed this before, but in New Horizons, you have proper kneecaps. It also seems like their pupils have more details too, so this is very exciting. I'm glad to see our characters receive a lot more detail in this game. Here is a really cute one. Our characters have shoelaces now, like proper detailed shoelaces. I think it'd be really cute if, when you get bad luck and you trip over, it would be because your shoelaces have actually come undone. It'd be kind of funny to see a little, like, emotion or animation as well, where your character could actually tie up their shoelaces. I would love that. That sounds perfectly adorable. Here's a very small one, but a cool one all the same. Now this house actually has a little light above the porch, so it's nice to see this little detail so that even when you're around your animals' houses, they'll be illuminated. There won't just be light coming in from the windows, but you've got some light coming from the outside as well. If you notice, it is actually a sort of indented little porch that they've got in their house, and there's quite a few different houses like this. The lights aren't always above the porches though, sometimes they're to the side of the house, and I think it'd be cool if this, like the things that you put on the doors, was something that you could attach to your house, or maybe even attach to a tree. We'll have to see how that goes. And finally, a really cool little one that was noted to me quite a while ago, but I'm finally getting around to looking at now. Your character's shadow appears on the river when you're walking by. Something so small, as usual, but something so cool. And another bit that is just insane to me, the butterfly makes a shadow on the river. Oh my lord, the butterfly makes a shadow on the river. It's so tiny, of course it is, it's so tiny, but it's amazing, and I'm so happy to see them include little details like this. So, I'm still obsessed with Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I wish we had more new footage. I'm just trying to tide you guys over with some more content, because I know we're all so excited for the game, and so am I, I just can't wait. Hopefully we'll get a new trailer soon. I really appreciate all your support though, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I will catch you guys in a new video. Thank you very much.